back to Yarn Brother Glass. My name is Reese, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to crochet the Mandala Moss Scarf. So in this video, um, we are going to be going over one basic stitch. Um, it's just a bunch of single crochets and chains over and over and over again um, to create this, this pattern here um, called the Moss Stitch. It's very drapey pattern. Um, it has this really cool look to it when you're all done, um, as you can see here. And we're going to be using a self-striping yarn for this. Well, I'm going to be using a self-striping yarn um, with those Lion Brand Mandala Cakes to get that neat finish, um, because otherwise it's kind of a boring pattern. <laughs> it's just the one thing over and over again, so adding in the, the new colors without worrying about changing them out yourself is going to turn this into a, a really cool looking scarf. All right, so why don't we move into what we're going to be needing to make this. All right, so for this project, we are going to be using any kind of the self-striping yarn. I'm going to be using the mandala patterns for my self-striping yarn. And then we're also going to be using the crochet hook eye or the 5.25 millimeter, some scissors and a tapestry needle. All right, so once you find the end of your yarn, we are going to start out with a slip knot. We're going to grab our hook. All right, so we're going to start off by chaining 28. We are going to start with our foundation row. So we're going to skip the first chain. We're going to do a single crochet into that second one. So just insert your hook, grab your yarn, pull through, grab your yarn, pull through those two loops, chain one, skip the next one, do a single crochet into that one after, chain one, skip a chain, single crochet, chain one, and we're going to keep going until we've reached the end of the row. Okay, so once you get to the end, we're going to chain one, turn our work over, And so now our second row and every row beyond that is going to be working into these spaces between the single crochets. So we're going to do a single crochet into that first space, chain one into the next space, chain one into the next space, chain one. And we're just going to keep going until we've reached the end of the row. All right. And then once you get to your end, we are going to just do a single crochet into that chaining, turning chain, chain one. And it's still a little hard to see so far, but this is the pattern. So you're going to into that first space, chain one. All right, and then the spaces and the pattern itself are going to become more apparent as you go on. All right, so once you've gone to that last stitch, we're going to pull the yarn out, grab scissors, cut, and then we're going to grab our tapestry needle. We're going to weave in that last end, tie off our loop, grab our tapestry needle. We are going to thread that through. And then from here, we're just going to start weaving in our ends. 
And then of course going back through on the other side and weaving in our ends from the very beginning. And well, that does it for today. So thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate your support and I hope you guys get to enjoy your Mandela moth scarf. If you like these kinds of projects, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more ideas. I do try to post content at least once a week. You can also follow me on social media for quick links, upcoming videos, and some more. See you next time.